So today we're thinking about place value and numbers after the decimal point. So I've got four numbers here. I'm going to put them in a place value grid. So we've got units. And we've got our tenths. And we've got our hundredths. And we've got our thousandths. What we're going to do is line up like that. And we'll move them up next to it so we can see it a bit better. So, if we were going to put these in ascending order, so getting bigger as we go down, first of all, the easiest thing to do is to look for the biggest one. And to, But before we can do that, we need to put in our missing placeholders. Our missing placeholders go in the empty columns where there isn't a number. So for the top one, there's nothing in the thousandths column, so we need to put a zero in. For the next one down, 1 1.9, we need to put zeros in the hundredths and the thousandths column. And for the bottom one, we've got nothing in the thousandths column again, so we need a zero. Now, we've got four numbers, and we've got a number in every column for the units, thousandths, tenths, hundredths and thousandths. So what we need to do is to work out which is the biggest number. Well, we can almost, if we've done this right, forget about the decimal point. Now it's gone, it's very easy to see that 1,900 would be the biggest number. And it's at, that number is actually, though, is 1 unit and 9 tenths. So we can put the decimal point back in, and we're going to put that at the bottom of our scale, because that is the biggest number there. Let's go back to the numbers we've got left. Which number is the next biggest? Well, we can see 1,420 is actually the next biggest. We can move that over, but we mustn't forget to put back in the decimal point. Now, we've got 1,030 or 1,099. Put the decimal points back in. We know that 99 is going to be the bigger one. So we can select that and move that over here, leaving us with... 1030 at the top and then what I'm going to do I'm going to put back in our place value grid so we can see what these numbers actually mean so they all had one unit 1.9 though had the most tenths that was the biggest then came 1.4 the next two numbers had no tenths so then we looked at the hundredths in the last two numbers we can see that that one had nine and that one had three so that one was biggest and that is how we can think about ordering numbers in terms of place value